Hello friends, I am Dr. Ankit Parak and I work as a consultant in pediatric pulmonology, allergy, tuberculosis and, and sleep medicine at Children's Chest Clinic, New Delhi. So today we will be talking about brain tuberculosis in children. So tuberculosis is caused by a bacteria known as Mycobacterium tuberculosis which usually affects the lungs, the lymph nodes uh, of the body. But occasionally, tuberculosis bacteria can spread and reach to the child's brain as well. And this condition is known as brain TB. Now, tuberculosis can affect the small membranes, thin membranes around the brain, which is called as tubercular meningitis. But occasionally, tuberculosis can form small, small nodules inside the brain. And these nodules are called as tuberculomas. Now, what are the symptoms of brain TB in children? So, children with brain tuberculosis usually present with fever, loss of appetite, loss of weight. They can have headache, they can have vomiting. Occasionally, children with brain tuberculosis can become more sick. They have difficulty in, in, in movement of their neck. They can have difficulty in, uh, in vision. They can sometimes throw a seizure. They can sometimes have uh, uh, deficits in the limb and or, or they're not able to move one of their arms or legs as well. Children with tuberculosis of the brain can get sometimes very sick and sometimes can lose consciousness. Well, how do we diagnose a child with brain TB? So tuberculosis of the brain usually is diagnosed on a combination of symptoms, what we see, science would we examine the child and in addition to some investigations now these investigations are usually in the form of a lumbar puncture test where with a very small thin needle we take a small amount of fluid which is around the brain and the spinal cord and this procedure is known as a csf test or a lumbar puncture test now this 3 to 5 ml of fluid which is extracted is then sent for analysis to the lab to look at what types of cells are there, what are the levels of proteins, what are the level of sugars and we can also check for a tubercular bacteria in the CSF. In addition to this, uh, usually some amount of neuroimaging is required which might be in the form of a contrast CT chest or a contrast MRI. Uh, which, which helps us to understand uh, the brain in more detail. Now, if a child is found to have brain tuberculosis, how do we treat it? Well, brain TB is a medical emergency and the earlier we start treatment, the better is the outcome of the child. We usually require to start anti-TB drugs as soon as possible. And the standard anti-TB drugs of rifampicin, isoniazid, pyrazinamide, and ethambutol are started in standard doses and continued for a period of approximately one year. Now, in addition to these, corticosteroids are used for the first two months of treatment and they significantly reduce the morbidity of the child, uh, the, the sequelae of the disease, and, and reduce the death rates. So if your child or anyone in the family or friends do seem to be having symptoms of brain tuberculosis, urgently you need to contact a TB specialist or a pediatrician to get him diagnosed and start on treatment as early as possible. Thank you.